Right, so you open up Procreate. This is the gallery. You hit the plus sign here. And that will bring you the options to create your canvas. Today we're going 16 by 20 at 300 DPI. 300 DPI is very important. It'll get you really good results when you go print print things that you make in Procreate or put them on t-shirts. It'll just give you the quality. And for now we're doing the background of the piece. Get a nice little green line. Just drop some color in. And then you drop some color in there and you get the sky. But I like this color a little better. Now, open a new layer. I'm getting the sketching out, just getting the Procreate pencil, and I'm using a color that I can easily see against the background, which is a gray. Now, if you see when I make this circle here, I hold the, hold the pencil down, and Procreate will kick in and just like give you a better circle. And that works for a lot of shapes. So when you're making a shape, just try to hold the pencil down, let Procreate do its thing, and boom, it'll give you a better circle. And then you just go ahead and sketch, just like you're using a pencil on a piece of paper. We're making a Bob drawing today. We're drawing Bob the Robot, Prince of Denmark. He's three dimensional. Alright, we're gonna get this sketch out and then I'm gonna show you something cool that you're gonna like that you can't do when you draw something on a piece of paper or a canvas or anything. And that's why Procreate is pretty powerful because it just gives you so many things you can't do in traditional art mediums. Check this out, hit that arrow. Look, you can make them bigger, smaller. Drag it over there. Walk them around, place it exactly where you want. I mean, if you're doing this on a piece of paper, you'd have to erase that and draw them over there. But Procreate, you can just drag them. And the slider here adjusts um, the width of the lines. And the one below it adjusts the opacity of the lines. And you can always hit undo or tap two fingers on there to make things go away, which you also cannot do in traditional art mediums. So I got the line thickness that I like here. No? Yes? There it is. I think I'm using the studio pen. I had one I liked better. It was called the technical pen, but I lost that somehow. And I still don't know how to get it back. If you know how to get it back, leave it in the comments how I can get the studio pen back. Because this one's cool, but I like that one better. Now look, when you're making a line, again, just hold the pen down. And it'll kind of just make you a straighter line. And once again with a circle. Isn't that cool? Boom. Magic. Procreate magic. Like, 
even if you really mess it up, just hold the pen down and um, bam, we'll give you a straight line. I don't like that one though because it's a little bit out of proportion. So you just hit back or undo and you do it over. The possibilities are endless. And remember, when you're using Procreate, layers are your friend. It's like your best friend. And you see here, I'm hitting back a bunch. It's because I was doing the ink on the wrong layer. I was doing the inking on the same layer as the drawing, which is fine or whatever. But then I won't be able to make the um, pencil marks go away afterwards. Unless I get in there and I tediously erase them all which is no bueno so I just hit back a bunch of times and open a new layer so when I do the inking it is on its own layer and later I can just delete the layer that the pencil stuff is on and it goes away I make that mistake a lot because I'm also kind of new to Procreate and the world of digital art. And one tip I can give you is there's a lot of stuff in there and a lot of powerful tools, but when you're first starting out, just pretend you're making art the normal way, the normal way that you normally do it. And you'll be surprised at the results that you get. Yeah, don't let it intimidate you. Just jump right in and make stuff and just try something new every once in a while and you'll discover all the features and all that that'll just come with time and you'll be rocking and rolling and making some art that's probably true about all art forms don't let any of that intimidate you just get in there and get your hands dirty and use the stuff and practice and you'll get it As long as you have some fun along the way, you know, it's all good. So this is Bob the Robot, Prince of Denmark. If you don't know who that is by now, you live under a rock. Or you're some kind of time-traveling weirdo who just got here from the 1800s. You picked a kind of weird time to come to if you're a time traveler. I mean, you should have picked like a year ago or a couple of years in the future because we live in some weird times right now. There's a global pandemic and the weirdest stuff happening in politics ever. You should have went to like 1997 actually a little before that 1993 to 1997 because hip-hop music just kind of got really silly after 1997 boom Bob the Robot Prince of Denmark and you turn off that sketch layer see and all the sketching goes away and now we can get into some colors. Just get the yellow I like, drag it in there, and drop it. And as long as those black lines are enclosed, the color will just stay there. And if you drag the color into an area that you want colored and the whole canvas just gets flooded with that color, then you got a gap somewhere in the lines where maybe they're not touching, completely so you just go ahead and look for those and connect them with some more black and you'll be good to go in some areas I don't even bother dragging and dropping because it's too small so I just hit it with the pencil
Maybe I should start drawing Bob with those Bernie Sanders mittens. For a little bit. I'll try to remember that for next time. Someone told me about Alpha Lock the other day, so I turned on Alpha Lock, but I still don't understand that. But I turned it on to see what would happen, and it's not much. So right now I'm going to use the acrylic brush, and I'm adjusting the opacity because I am going to come in here and make some shadows in Bob, just to give him a little more dynamic range and I don't always do this um, especially in paintings um, because I feel like just the brushwork kind of does a trick but I find myself um, when I'm making digital art like this um, I spend a little more time on it and adding a little more detail than I would in a regular painting just because it's so easy you know, if I was painting this, I'd have to go and mix another color to kind of get that shadow. And I'd have to probably, you know, water down the paint and blend it and blend it and blend it. But this is just put it there and then get the smudge tool, smudge it around until it's how you like it. And that's it. So I made a new layer here and I'm not using the acrylic one anymore because I'm trying to put some white down and if you put um, the opacity, um, if you adjust the opacity at all on the white colors you can hardly see them. So I just put some white there and then I get the smudge tool again and just smudge it up a little bit so it's not so boom pow in your face it's a little bit blendy so it kind of matches what's going on and it gives it another layer of depth i forgot to put some of the black color here in the crown so i'm going back and just putting some on there and then smudge it up a little bit <clears throat> And there's Bob the Robot, Prince of Denmark. Check him out, isn't he cool? Now I hit that uh, arrow tool up there. Actually, I'm gonna take the shadow work and I'm gonna hit merge down on both the um, shadow color and the highlight color. So now they're all together. Bob and his highlights and low lights. And I'm gonna turn them upside down and put them on the ground. For fun bob upside down and look at that you can flip horizontal there's all kinds of stuff i'm not even familiar with all the different things you can do in procreate yet i just kind of um get in there and play with them and see what i can do see look i'm gonna select the crown because i don't like where it is and look i can adjust that just by itself very powerful little art program but you can see if you're watching me do this that uh, I'm not a hundred percent crazy good at this I just been playing with it for a little bit dragging around and dropping things is kind of hard for me still so you got Bob upside down for no reason and I moved the crown over there. But we're gonna make him a friend. So I'm going back to um, sketch. I'm gonna get Procreate Pencil. Make a new layer and I'm gonna turn all those other layers off. They're just not showing right now. They didn't get deleted, I just turn them off. So I don't have to look at them right now. And I have space to make um, a new character. And I love sketching and procreate. It is this almost exactly the same. If I was sketching this on a piece of paper, it would look exactly like it does right there. Which is crazy, because it's a computer program. 
But no, if I drew that on the paper, it would look exactly like that. And I went back and I got the inks and the studio pen. I'm just gonna outline this little turtle guy. And it's so cool because, oh, I don't like how that line is. Press the back button or undo button, whatever you want to call it, it goes away. You can do that 800 times until you get that line exactly the way that you want it to be. This turtle got stumpy legs, man. From foraging around in the forest. Maybe this turtle should have a name. Drop in the comments what the name of this turtle should be. Because I think he's cool. And he's probably going to show up more places in my art. Because he's just a cool turtle. I remember when I was uh, growing up, there was this movie that I liked as a kid and the guy was like a secret robot that they um, snuck out of a military base but he just thought he was adopted and his best friend his name was Turtle and he was funny so this turtle got some kind of Hexagon, but not really hexagon shapes in his shell, and they don't have to be perfect at all. Just boom, make some shapes. It'd be weird if they were like all the same in uniform and ex exact. Okay, we're getting there. We got that um, sketch. And I, I'm just going to delete the layer that had the sketch on it. So just the inking layers left behind. And drag and drop some color in there. so easy to color just drag it and drop them in there and it's instantaneous and if you don't like it you don't gotta wait for the paint to dry and then get a different color and put it on top of it you just hit the back button and do it over so I got my acrylic brush again and I'm gonna put some yellow in here to kind of pop those out and kind of give the turtle some dimension. Just put some uh, yellow in there and then I am going to get the smudge tool and blend them in. The smudge tool got the opacity over here and also the size adjustment. So if you're like trying to smudge a color and you feel like it's not really going anywhere, try adjusting those. I feel if you make a if you make the smudge tool bigger, it, it'll um, smudge better. So I'm gonna merge down all the layers that have. 
smudgy yellow in it. So they stay with the turtle when I move it. Okay, I'm gonna turn back all, all the layers back on. Well, actually, I'm gonna move this turtle around. And look at that, flip horizontal. And adjust it just how you want. Make them smaller. And turn back on those layers. Look at that. Okay, so the turtle is green, and the you know little grassy knoll that he's on is also green. It's, it's kind of blending together, and I don't really feel like changing the colors of that turtle because I like it. So. I'm gonna think how to combat that problem while I make some happy clouds in the sky. <clears throat> happy clouds. And I'm not quite sure why, but you see there how I tried to drag and drop the color in it? Why didn't it color it? I think it's because I already dragged and dropped that blue in there that it just took over all the other colors. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and color these clouds by hand. If you guys know why that happened and how I can make that not happen, let me know in the comments. So, you know, next time I can do that faster. So I'm going to duplicate the layer of the turtle and I'm just going to drag black into it a bunch of times. So I turn them black. Now another cool thing about the layers menu is you can rearrange how the layers are in relation to each other. So I'm going to take that. Oh, you double tap that layer and the opacity bar will come up and you can change the opacity, make it real light. And then you see how I did that? I took the black one and slid it underneath the other one. So when you move it, you get a drop shadow. I know um, drop shadows are used a lot in text, but there I just used it to kind of pop out that turtle because he was kind of the same color as the little grassy knoll that they're, they're on. And since I did it to the turtle, I'm going to do it to also Bob and his crown. double tap that layer and the opacity bar and you can play with that to get it as light as you want it and then move the layer so it's underneath and boom and I like that but um, his shadow can't really go into the sky so I'm just going to erase some of that And see how I'm working on that one layer so when I erase it, it only erases stuff on that layer and nothing else. And I make a new layer and I'm gonna get a different paintbrush. There's so many brushes in here, I haven't used half of them yet. And I'm just gonna make a little splotchy little white box over here because I have to sign this. 
It's just like when you make a painting afterwards. You sign it, right? So now that I got this, it's 16 by 20 and it's a piece. I can print it out. I can make prints. I can plop that on a t-shirt. Canvas, anything. It's right there. So when you're done, you go over to um, share. And select JPEG and then you can do all kinds of stuff here. You can email it to yourself. You can save it to your iPad. And there you go. Those t-shirts are so dope.